Hi everyone, this is Sushi here. Today I'll be talk unboxing the Pokemon TCG Battle Academy set. Um, now this is a beginner set that has three main starter Pokemons. They have Pikachu, Charizard and Mewtwo. Now, I'm gonna have a look inside what's in it. So you probably have your usual board map that yeah, it comes along with it. And this has a two player board map, which you can see has its deck, discard pile, the bench, active Pokemon spot, six prize cards, and the opposite is exactly the same but inverted. So it was pretty neat with this board map, where you can have a friend to come over and come and play the TCG game with a friend by choosing one of these decks. Now, this is a Pikachu deck over here, a Charizard deck, and inside there should be a Mewtwo deck. There you go. And they have the damage markers. Obviously, I've used all of them when I was playing. And it's a Pokemon code for this game. And it's got some instructions for how to use the Pikachu deck. And the list of the Pikachu. How to play when you're using this. Uh, what I like about this is for really total beginners is they have numbers on the bottom. If you look carefully, which I'll show you in a minute. Through these cards, they have individual numbers and how to play it against your opponent. So it's like a step-by-step -step guide for a new newbie that's just has no idea of the Pokemon card game. Similarly, it's, it's the same case for the Charizard one where it shows you a list of what's inside. What happens if you have an opponent? How to draw your cards, play against your opponent, attach the energy, attack with the number of quantity of energy, and Continue playing until you <clears throat> defeat your opponent. And this Mewtwo deck <clears throat> is the advance deck that doesn't require any evolution, which is pretty neat. I uh, played a, a couple of times with this starter deck before and I gotta say, the Mewtwo deck is pretty strong against the Pikachu and Charizard deck. And this shows you the details of what happens if you got an ability. In this case, this is a GX card from the Pokemon Sun and Moon era where they had Hidden Fates. So if you're collecting Hidden Fates and you really like this set, I advise you to buy this or recommend. I recommend buying this as it just only costs about £20 UK sterling here. And this is a Pokemon coin with all three Pikachu, Charizard and Mewtwo. And you have your GS, GX markers. You can use your GX abilities. And the counters. Now, let's have a look at the Pikachu deck, what's inside. Let's see what they look like. So as you can see, if you number in accordance to 60, these are actually numbered numerically. So when you start to play the game, then it will teach you, if you follow the guide step by step, you'll be able to actually play against your opponent, how it's chronologically. 
but yeah. So we've got a great ball, Alolan Raichu, Cynthia, Pokemon Fan Club, Electric Energy, Tauros, Chansey, Pikachu, Tauros, Electabuzz, Electivire, Electric Energy, Cynthia, Howl, Bug Catcher, Switch, Howl again, Blitzo, Electric Energy, Sip Striker, Bud Catcher, or Bud Catcher, Bud Catcher, Energy, Potion, Pikachu, and the Raichu GX. Now, this has a Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt attack of 120 hit points, but it has the GX ability of Spark Ball, which can you only use once per game. So this is a really pretty neat card if you manage to obtain when you're playing your game and evolve your Pikachu into a Raichu. Electric Energy, Blitzo, Cynthia, I don't know Cynthia, Electric Energy, Electro Buzz, Electrifier, Potion, Electro Power, Zip Striker, Butt Catcher, and Howl. So these are really good cards from the Hidden Fate set that if you've missed out when you started collecting Pokemon, I advise you getting these the sets as it's really, really good for a total beginner without having to pay too much on the set. Now, we've got the Charizard deck. Inside. We have the Charizard, Fire Energy, Charmeleon. Oh, even the Charizard has a symbol for the numeric numbers, as you can see. Charmander, how on how it's actually played if you follow the guide. Charmeleon, Potion, How, Charmeleon. And this is the Charizard GX card. It's got a bit of holo and back, but it has the flame for hit points of 140 or attack points, sorry, and the flare bits GX, which can use 300 attack points and use only once per turn. Fire energy, Moltres, fire energy. Great Ball, Flareon, Buttcatcher, Eevee, Energy, Switch, Salandit, Salazo, Salazo, Charmander, Fire Energy, Buttcatcher, Potion, Cynthia, Great Ball, Pokemon Catcher, Fire Energy, Kangaskhan, Cynthia, Ho, Welder, Fire Energy, Great Ball, Fire Energy, Charmander, Cynthia, Kangaskhan, Flareon, How, Salandit, and Salazo. Salandit again, Eevee, Great Ball, Pokemon Fan Club, Switch. And that's all the Charizard deck. Now, one of my favorite decks in this one is the Mewtwo deck, as 
when you play against other opponents, it's particularly this card that you can use as a basic Pokemon without having the need to evolve from stage one or stage two. And it's the special ability of Side Crush, where you discard all the energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. And this is really good when you're in a pinch. And I use this ability when I'm playing uh, by myself. And uh, it's actually quite, quite neat because I actually managed to use this against players online and I actually defeated quite a number of players using this deck. But obviously it doesn't always happen, but it's just the odd occasions where I won twice in a row and this deck is my favorite deck of all because of its uh, ability. Yeah. Okay, we've got Howl, Cynthia, Snorlax, Marini, Mew, Psychic Energy, Marini, Pokemon Catcher, Mesprit, Pokemon Catcher, Potion, Psychic Energy, Cynthia, Toxapex, Psychic Energy, Budcatcher, Switch, Great Ball, Cynthia, Great Ball, Toxapex, Psychic Energy, Cresselia, Eevee, Espeon, this Espeon is actually quite good in my eyes because the attack from using only one second energy, you can attack 20 more times the amount of energy attached to all your po opponent's Pokemon. So how many your opponents has, it's actually 20 times, however, the quantity of your opponent's Pokemon plus your 20 attack points that you got here. Psychic Energy, Eevee, Espeon, Blood Capture, Great Ball, Howl, and Potion. So, hope everyone likes this video and managed to see what it likes for having a starter set to begin with. And I will give this 5 out of 5, definitely, because of all the for the price you're paying for getting free starter decks is pretty fantastic in my view. So I'll give this 5 out of 5 and hope everyone like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll try to give you some links to the Pokemon Center website if it's still available and um, hope to see everyone again soon. Bye.